Our Lord gives instructions to his apostles, the disciples, to go out and preach his message, to preach Jesus. And he says, the, as you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. When we do our Catholic practice our Catholic faith and spread our Catholic faith. When we give the gospel, it is without cost. God, Jesus has given it to us freely. We are to give freely too. Our Lord didn't ask for money when he cured people, when he rose people from the dead, and when he did all so, so many good things, he didn't ask for money, advantage. He did it freely because God loves us. Love gives freely, generously, enormously. God is enormously generous. And imagine what we'll, what we'll receive in heaven for the little that we did in, here on earth. He's enormously generous, free. God is generous, and we are to be the same. You know, we look at the life of Jesus, how he gave. He gave of himself totally, exhausted himself, and suffered and died and shed his last drop of blood, everything for free, for the love of us, to help us to be happy, to know our direction in life, how to live a good and holy life. He did it all for free. He gave freely, and he wants us to do the same, which is to give freely, to give generously, to be sacrificial with what we do. You know, at the same time, we're not to expect that from other people. Give me free, give me, give me. Uh, I want everything free. I want to be a, um, a freeloader. I want to be lazy and everyone else do the work. You know, of course, that's not the mentality. Our mentality is for us to give freely to, especially to the poor and to those who need and those who can't provide for themselves. And this is always the message of the Catholic faith. It was always a generosity. And this is what vocations is. It's a generosity. Sacrifice. We give of our whole life, our, our work, our, our life, 70, 80 years freely. I'm not asking for anything other than my necessities. The worker is, the workman is worth his keep. But not beyond that. We're not trying to become millionaires and have wealth. We, we, want, we love souls and we want to give freely, give freely to them the gospel message, charity, all the good the Catholic Church has done. The Church gives freely and all the Catholic works that, that you see in all the Catholic institutions. And this is especially the, the, the sadness about a loss of vocations. It's a lack of generosity, a lack of sacrifice, and a willingness to give freely to people. And so we don't give up our life for Jesus and for souls and for helping people. Instead, we go out into the world and we want to make a, make a million bucks. And we are selfish. We ended up selfish. And what a waste. Vocations to the priesthood and to religious life is just a total generosity. And look at the enormous good the vocations do because it's total giving of themselves. And especially in religious life where you take vows of, vows of poverty and it's sad that so many voc that there's so lack of vocations today. If there were more vocations, we would have freer, freer schools. Schools wouldn't, Catholic schools wouldn't be emptying today, and, and uh, people would be flocking more to good Catholic education, which is at, at, at not very expensive, because the vocations, the sisters and the and the priests were giving freely, teaching for for free, for the most part, especially to those poor, poor places, or at least you know at a small cost. 
So we're talking about total, talking about generosity, and this is the, exactly the life of Jesus as he just spent himself for souls to spread the, his gospel, spread his teachings uh, the, of his mercy and his goodness free of charge. And this is what we want to do of, of, of our message, of our evangelization, but also especially of our, whole, our life to give as generously as we can for the gospel message. Without cost, we have been, we received. Without cost, we are to give with generosity out of love for souls and love for God. <laughs> Oh.